The next novel I have to talk about is another one I think I got when Borders was going out of sale about a year and a half or so ago. And it is uh, Pornografia by Witold Gombrowicz. And uh, Gombrowicz is um, really one of those um, better known writers that gets talked a lot about but um, I think not a lot of people read him a lot. Um, it's sort of one of those names that sort of stays cloistered in academia or, you know, super kind of literary circles. But I saw him. I saw his name. <laughs> not him. I saw his name several times. Uh, Susan Sontag, I think, mentions him a few times in some of her essays. And I've seen his name thrown around, so when I saw this, um, I was I was interested in it, so I picked it up. Uh, when reaching the end of a novel, uh, usually I have you know quite a bit to say or not much to say, but when I finished this, I felt that it was both, you know, quite a bit to say and then not so much. Uh, this was my first experience reading uh, Gombrowicz and it was a really be bewildering and exciting one. Um, the novel has, I thought, elective affinities with Kundera that make it a unique and not wholly pleasurable read. About one-third of the way through it, I wasn't sure that I would make it the rest of the way. Uh, the purely distilled, unrelenting psychological depiction of its characters and occasional absurdism can sometimes make it an arduous reading experience, but this eventually lets up a bit as you go on. I stuck with it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I, I think I had insisted a bit too much before I even began reading the novel that w it would have to somehow relate to the war, or, or our relation to it, or how we react to it. As has already been noted, uh, if you've listened to or read other reviews, uh, the title is appropriate, but the novel is not pornographic in any sense that we usually use the word today. Perhaps that's why seduction has been used as an alternate translation in the past. Instead, the pornography here is a perversely pathological inspection of its central characters. While the novel is set only in Poland, uh, Gombrowicz uh, actually fled Poland shortly before the outbreak of World War II, thinking that he would wait it out. He would remain there for almost 25 years. He would, that is, he would remain outside of Poland for almost 25 years. The two main characters in the novel, uh, Friedrich and Witold, again, uh, like J.M. Kutzi, Gombrowicz attempts the reader with autobiography by using his own name. Uh, Friedrich and Witold conspire to get Henia and Carol romantically interested in one another even though they hardly notice each other, and Henia is already engaged to a young attorney. Uh, Witold initially is the one who shows an interest in the young couple. However, Friedrich's interest, Friedrich's interest soon, soon comes to border on the obsessive, conniving to have Henia's fiancé catch them in a romantic tryst. Meanwhile, a Polish soldier fighting in the resistance movement heightens the tension of the story as several plots to kill him are eventually hatched within the household. A fascination with youth apparently imbues much of uh, Gombrowicz's work. Uh, the effort to realize the romantic connection consumes an inordinate amount of his time, including 1937's, 1937 uh, the novel that he wrote in that year called uh, For Diderki, and I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, please, please somewhat let me know how that's pronounced. I always see it on a page, and I'm like, I, I'm not sure I would know how to pronounce that, and indeed, I don't. Um, which I, I might read sometime. Um, this didn't wholly take me away. Um... It's, it's not quite the masterpiece, I thought, that some people seem to think it is. Um, he views youth as a kind of purity 
it seems, uh, physical and perhaps an ideological purity. He says in his play The Marriage this, each person deforms the other person while being at the same time deformed by them. End quote. I find it interesting and telling how he chose to define the interaction between two people as a kind of destruction instead of a kind of construction. It definitely sums up the bleak undertones of the novel while also showing what a relentless psychologist uh, Gombrowicz actually is. One, one word in closing, I've heard that uh, Danuta Borchard's translation is the best one, so opt for this one. I'm not sure if it's still being put out with this cover, but uh, Danuta Borchard is the uh, translator who translated this particular version. Uh, assuming, of course, that you can't read the original Polish. I know a few viewers of this video can read the original Polish, so if you can, that's a treat for you. Um, also, don't approach it with the same preconceived notion that it, of something that it should be, namely a philosophical meditation on war, simply because World War II is the setting. I think this was one of the things that sort of lessened my reading pleasure the most. Um, the novel certainly isn't for everyone, but those that love a thoughtful author, a real writer's writer, as they say, would really, rec would, would really love it. Also, anyone who's interested in modernist, slightly more experimental fiction. Pornografia, maybe, Pornographia, by Witold Gombrowicz, a novel.